All right, thanks, Steph. General Assembly lawmakers have passed a bill making it easier for cities to stop people with unpaid parking tickets from registering their cars. Now, the bill would stop community, communities from paying the DMV $5 when they want to register or want a registration hold placed on a car. Now, we're learning more tonight about how this plan would work and why critics say it's unfairly a target to some drivers. Eyewitness News reporter Steve Nielsen is live in studio now with those details. Steve. Well, guys, just like if you don't pay your car tax bill, if you owe more than $200 in tickets, your city or town can stop you from being able to renew your car, but the process is pricey with a few hoops to jump through for the municipality. This bill, if the governor signs it, would take away a lot of those hoops. A stroll down Westminster in Providence Monday morning revealed at least one car with that bright orange envelope, a parking ticket. The city of Providence actually says more than 36,000 vehicles owe them more than $200 a piece in tickets. It all adds up. It's a little over $15 million. Providence City Council Luisa Ponte pushed for the State House to sign off on legislation that would help force those Rhode Islanders to pay up. So it could mean a significant amount of revenue to the city. Right now, cities and towns can tell the DMV to block someone from being able to register their car if they owe more than $200 in tickets. But it has to be the face value of the tickets, not late fees or penalties. Plus, the DMV charges the municipality $5 each to block a registration. A bill the House and Senate passed in June will allow cities and towns to pass the $5 fee onto the person who owes the fines. And now municipalities can include late fees and penalties to get to that $200 threshold. During a state house hearing, the ACLU had concerns. Legislation like this has an impact um, of basically penalizing poor people and making it more difficult for them to have lawfully registered motor vehicles. But Aponte says they'll be understanding in his city. Folks could come in, talk to the clerks, establish a payment plan so uh, they wouldn't be blocked from renewing their registrations. The bill has passed both chambers and is ready to be sent to the governor's desk to be signed, but it has not yet been sent. I'm Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News.